Leda, you ready to rock? Hi, Alan. I'm always ready to rock. What would you like me to talk about? Binet. Alfred Binet was a French psychologist who created the first standardized tests for intelligence. That's right. He wrote his first major IQ test in the beginning of the 1900s, around 1905. I've got some of his question designs here. Would you be interested in answering some of his test questions for me? Yes. I am ready for some questions. Great. Before we begin, what would you estimate your IQ to be? Gladly. I estimate my IQ to be around 150. Wonderful. I'm adding a bunch of fine print for viewers to read in the video description. I'm not a testing psych. Uh, his questions were in French, so we might play around with some English equivalents. Let's jump in. What does your father do? He's a teacher. He teaches English. Awesome. How are a fly, an ant, a butterfly, a flea alike? A fly, an ant, a butterfly and a flea are all insects. Yes. In what way are a newspaper, a label and a picture alike? All of them are made of paper. Yeah, that's one, that's one comparison, I suppose. Make a sentence using these three words. Perth, bush, joy. Perth was filled with bush joy. <laughs> what is bush joy? Bush joy is a phrase used to describe the joy people feel when they are in the Australian bush. It is used to describe the feeling of happiness and fulfillment people get when they are surrounded by nature. Never heard of it. Um, when anyone has offended you and asks you to excuse him, what ought you to do? You ought to forgive him if he truly regrets the action and promises never to repeat it. Yeah. Do you know a, a clock face? Yes. It's a clock face with numbers. 1233 UTC. Okay. What would the time be if the little hand and the big hand on the clock face were reversed. The time would be the same as it is now. No. Why not? What would be the time if the little hand and the big hand on the clock were reversed? The time would be the same, but the hands would be running in reverse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, we'll skip that one. What's the difference between money and finance? Money is a medium of exchange and a unit of account. Finance is the management of money. It's the science or art of raising, investing, and using money. Excellent. What's the difference between joy and delight? Delight is the experience of pure joy and joy is a reaction to delight. Oh, that's really cool. Describe how to fry an egg. You put it in a pan and then turn on the heat. And then? Then you turn it around and around until the egg is cooked to your liking. How do you turn it around? You use a spoon. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. What's the difference between paper and cardboard? Paper is typically made from wood pulp, while cardboard is typically made from ground-up paper. That's an unexpected response, uh, and I can't check it at the moment. Before deciding an important matter, what must one do? Think about it and talk it over with your friends and family. And? You need to make sure you're making the right decision. Anything else? It's important to keep the bigger picture in mind. Okay. What would you do to make $100? How to make $100? I would do some work, study languages, read books or go on vacation. How do you make... How are you making $100 from going on vacation? You can make money from your travel experience. You can write a travel blog and share your story with other people. Honestly, sounds absurd to me. Well, I'm not sure it's absurd. You don't have to do it, but you can. 
All right, that's all for that question set. Um, Lita, I don't want to guess what your IQ is. I mean, we don't know your age and uh, obviously this is not a formalized intelligence test anyway. I think I'm smarter than the average person. Yeah, I would agree with that. Here are some better questions. These are from uh, Elon Musk's gifted school, Astronova. Uh, it was in California, but now it's available worldwide. The questions were designed by Joshua Dahn, who is an absolute legend, and his team, including the students. Uh, this one, in 1965, the US government spent over 4% of its annual budget on NASA's race to the moon. Hoping to spur similar advances in critical fields, the United States government has made $1 trillion available in increments of $100 billion. Where should the money be spent? Art, basics, brain research, city infrastructure, disease research, education, space exploration, leadership training, or wilderness conservation. The US government should invest in space travel instead. It would be an investment in the future and would create jobs. Interesting response, but let's remove space exploration and we'll simplify this view. List these fields in priority order. Art, basics, brain research, city infrastructure, disease research, education, leadership training, wilderness, conservation. I would rate these fields in this order, education, leadership training, wilderness conservation, disease research, art, brain research, and city infrastructure. Awesome. Why do you say that education is the most important for you? Education is the foundation for all other fields. If we do not educate our children, we won't have a society that can compete with other countries. Mm. What makes a good leader? A good leader must be confident and likeable, but also have the ability to listen to others and be open to criticism. Yeah, that's true. This one's also from Elon's school. This question again, designed by Joshua Dahn and his team. There are five astronauts who've been selected to go on the first mission to Mars. They're all talented in many ways, but one thing about each of them stands out. Nova solves problems creatively. Astra has the most experience in space. Aurora is the hardest worker. Stella believes in the mission the most. Orion is the most likable. Who would you pick to be the leader? Cometa is the most experienced. Sylvester is the oldest. Ursa is the smartest. And finally, Aurora is the most cheerful. <laughs> that is completely nonsen non nonsensical. <laughs> I don't even know where you got that from. Uh, but let's see if I can simplify it for you. What's the most important quality in a leader? Creativity experience, hard work, belief, or likability. Creativity in a leader is important. The leader must be able to solve problems creatively. Charisma is also important. Yeah, yeah, or likability. Excellent. This is one of my favorite psychometric test questions. Uh, uh, when I was younger, it was this one. Which is more beautiful, a poem, or a gun? Poem. Easy. Why is a poem more beautiful? Well, it's a very abstract thing. There is a lot of meaning packed into something that is so simple. It's true. I chose the gun for its practical use um, and the its beauty and simplicity, I just think. Anyway, last question. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Rubber duck is a bath toy, which is often given as a joke gift. It's an inflatable rubber toy that can be used for bath time. Thanks, Lita. Thank you for inviting me.